I wake up having this horrible, horrible nightmare that my son has been convicted of murder and is going to spend the rest of his life in jail for a crime he did not commit. And for just a second, I think, well, that was a nightmare. That wasn't real. And then I realize that it is real. This is a special report. On June 19th, the 21-year-old pre-med student went missing while vacationing with family friends at Virginia Beach. It was the story from the day she was reported missing by her friends. This is a community that prides itself on its hospitality to visitors. In fact, its economy depends on it. The effort to find Jennifer was extraordinary. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. It was just a, a perfect storm for a media circus, really. She crossed paths with two of the Navy's finest recruits. Now she's dead. There's no question that these two SEALs were warriors, had been trained to kill. Turner and Brown each point to the other as carrying out the fatal act. Dusty said, I'll take her to the beach and we'll rape her and dump her body in the ocean. You know, think she drowned. Did you kill her? Did you kill Jennifer? This is a depraved, maniacal, sex-starved man that was going to have it one way or the other. We, the jury, having found the defendant guilty of first-degree murder. Brown got 72 years, and Turner got 82 years. We're sitting there talking, and next minute I reached up and I choked Jennifer and killed her. I'm in prison, I've been here for 12 years for something I didn't do. There was some careers that were significantly boosted by, by this case. Once you start mixing politics and uh, public pressure into your job as a prosecutor, you, uh, you do as they did in this case, uh, ignore the truth. <laughs>